A low carb diet, we've just started eating, that's about it, vegetables and meat. We started adding my homemade rye bread, which is absolutely delicious and healthy. We only eat one piece in the morning with our eggs, uh, asparagus, spinach, cheese, uh, onion, jalapenos, but we eat one piece of toast with this now. So I'm going to make one loaf of bread, one small loaf, to show you how you can just make one small loaf. You don't have to make a big double batch like I usually do for my dad. I'm going to take some, a heaping teaspoon uh, of yeast, Fleischmann's yeast, and I'm going to put it in warm water. Here's my yeast. I'm going to put the warm water, probably about a quarter of a cup warm water in with the yeast. Stir it up and let it dissolve. Warm water. Okay, I've got my apple cider. I'm going to put one cup of apple cider in my bowl and warm it up. Let's use the half cup, so we'll do one cup of apple cider. Maybe half a cup, and a cup. Okay, I'm only making enough for one loaf of bread. Put this in the microwave for, since it's such a small amount, 30 seconds. I'm going to be using oat bran because I don't have any wheat bran. I'm going to be using rye flour, which I just got the co-op and refilled my container. Caraway seeds. Uh, this is whole wheat, white whole wheat flour, and a little bread flour, and caraway seed powder. Perfect. 30 seconds perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to add to this. I will measure today. I cannot believe it, but I will measure. My oat bran. What does oat bran do? I don't know. I don't know. It kind of makes it healthy. Okay? I guess. So uh, what is the kind of this? This is a, a third of a cup. That looks good. A third of a cup of oat bran. Okay? That's done. Put that aside. Can't use it again. Okay. Caraway seeds. I love caraway seeds. Oh, they smell wonderful. So, let me get a little cuppy thing here. Let's see what we're going to do with this. That's a quarter of a cup. Don't need a quarter of a cup. So, maybe an eighth of a cup. Eighth of a cup of caraway seeds. Caraway seed powder, which gives it that lovely flavor. It's the caraway seeds that are crushed. I'm going to add half a teaspoon caraway seed powder. Put that aside. Next is the rye. Oh, let me get a. Let's get a let me see this stuff. Okay. And to this, I will add my yeast. Good. Now to this, I'm going to add, since it is rye bread, you want to add mostly rye flour. So I'm going to add a big cup of rye flour for the moment. Good. Good. I think that'll be enough rye flour for one loaf of bread. And then the white whole wheat flour. Let's add, uh, can't use that. Let's add a three quarters of a cup. Three quarters of a cup of white whole wheat flour. That should be enough of that.
Nice. Now you gotta have some gluten in there. You gotta have some bread flour in there to make it rise. Not the yeast to, to, uh, to, to feed the yeast, really. So now on to this, I'm gonna add enough bread flour, probably about, well, let's measure it and see. Let's see how much I'm gonna need. Make it absolutely perfect measured, which is not me. I just kind of wing it. Today we're gonna measure and watch it come out crap, right? Okay. <laughs> bread flour, bread flour. Okay, let's get my little. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna need it on the on the uh, counter today. I'm gonna use three quarters of a cup of bread flour. That's not quite three quarters. Three quarters of a cup. Okay, three quarters of a cup of bread flour. Now, let's start. Kneading it in the bowl here. Pretty good. I will do a little bit more hands. A little bit more in there with my hands. Get the watch up there. Here we go. A little bit more white, uh, a little bit more bread flour. So we'll probably use a total of one cup of, of bread flour. Here we go. Now that should be about a cup of bread flour. And you knead it all around. And you push it down in the bowl. Now, if you need just a little bit more, you can, but it should be the consistency of not on your hands either. You should be able to get that off your hands. There we go. A plop, a plop, a plop. No, just a little tacky. You don't want it tacky. You want it so that it's not sticking to your hands. That, just that little bit. So it's probably a total of a whole cup of the bread flour, which gives it elasticity along with the heavy grains, the whole grains of the rye and the whole wheat flour. Okay. Now that's a nice batch right there. That's just perfect. Gonna be perfect for a loaf of bread. Then I can measure how much is carbs are in it too because I can Okay. There it is. See that? Beautiful. Stick in a bowl. Cover with the top. Put it on a warm place. Let it rise till double. Okay, finishing up the rye bread, I'm going to spray my pan here. And I've got the rye bread. It's been warming in the warmer, sandproof, and it's doubled. And now I will take it out and put it in my sprayed pan. There are 299 carbs in the whole loaf. I just added them all up. Went on the computer and mixed them all up. So here, stick it there. Okay. Push it down. Push it down in the pan. So, 300 calories, uh, 300 carbs approximately in the whole thing. So now, uh, I like to put a little dusting, just a small dusting. How many carbs? Of cornmeal on the top. It seems to make it a little crunchier and a little easier to handle too. My cornmeal. Oh, I'm gonna make some corn muffins. Of course, they're full of carbs, but they're good. Okay. So then I can shape it a little bit more with my hand here. Now it's gonna go in the back in the warming place, like that, and it's gonna rise to about here. So it doesn't dry out. I'm gonna take a paper towel. I'm gonna wet a paper towel. Wring it out. So it's just damp, just damp, and come on, and drop it over the top of it. 
so when it rises, it'll still be moist. Now it goes back into my warming place for 40 minutes. The bread has doubled in size. And I'm heating the oven now to 400 degrees. And when it gets up to 400 degrees, I'll put it in the oven for 40 minutes. Okay, there's the bread out of the oven, 40 minutes. And now I'll put on a uh, metal rack. I probably could have doubled the recipe, uh, but then it would have been way up too much. This is just perfect for uh, Now, if I slice this, and it, this is like eating, um, because it's so full of whole grains and good stuff, it's, it's actually heavy. And it's about equal to about three loaves of white bread, because this is like solid, it's so good. So if I cut this into, let's see this, 300 carbs in the whole thing. So if I cut it into, say, 15 slices, that's 20 carbs a slice. So I can do that afterwards. But there it is. Oh, it smells delightful. It's so good. And eating one piece of that in the morning is like eating three slices of white bread because white bread you can take in your hand and squish it. It's gone. This is delicious and heavy. Not heavy, but um, it, it's, it's, it's just filling. It's, it's real bread. So there it is. Have a great day. And we'll be eating some of this. I'll be slicing it later. And we'll be eating it for the next week. One slice a day. That's all you need in the morning. It's so good.